in new developments in the Mike Bickle and International House of Prayer investigation, Michael Brown, Dr. Michael Brown, is back, and he has issued a statement now in light of what is seemingly a stalemate, an impasse, if you will, between IHOP KC and members of the advocate group. Of course, I talked about that defiant, angry statement that Kurt Fuller made when he came and posted a response on Wednesday, January 24th, in light of videos that the advocate group had released uh, that had, you know, basically exposed Mike Bickle for covering up his son Luke's uh, affair. Uh, this just this whole thing got really messy, really fast, and Michael Brown is now calling for a new direction. Now, this is after you know Brown in the very beginning. If you remember, uh, he was at Forerunner Church on November fifth, and he was telling people, you know you know, don't talk about this on social media. And he was really seemingly defending IHOP KC and, and other members of the ELT at that point. Um, and then the backlash got so bad against Brown that, you know, he announced that he was distancing himself from everything having to do with the investigation. And he claimed that it was his travel schedule that didn't allow for him to, you know, really be able to be involved anymore. And I called that out at the time and said that, no, it wasn't anything to do with travel schedule because if you're really going to be involved, just use your phone, right? You can, you know, do Skype, Zoom, whatever. You could still be, you know, informed without being present at the International House of Prayer. Uh, but now apparently Brown is back uh, and he's giving his insight into this. He said some surprising things. We will talk about it in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you in the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, why not consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation? I could really use your help. There's a couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You also get exclusive links to these topics that we discuss, and I include them on Patreon now, the way things are getting with YT. Uh, you know, you got to be careful with what you include in here now. So it'll be for you on Patreon. Also there, comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again, patreon.com slash news. link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Michael Brown posted a video uh, entitled an urgent, you know, message regarding the IHOP KC and Mike Bickle situation. And, you know, again, I, I want to highlight, you know, Brown had supposedly, you know, distanced himself from the whole Bickle thing um, after all the backlash came out against him. But, you know, he's back involved now. And Brown says that uh, he made a promise on November 5th when he spoke at Forerunner Church that if conversations, if things broke down, that, you know, he would get involved and call for you know, a new direction. And that is what he is saying here in light of the stalemate, the impasse between the advocate group uh, and Kurt Fuller, IHOP KC, the Lathrop group, all of it, the messy situation that I have been covering now uh, for quite a while. Brown is calling on the body of Christ to come together and he is seemingly siding here with the advocate group. Now, Brown is saying that uh, it is time for, you know, IHOP KC to get on board with what the advocate group wants. And that is to, you know, go with their selection for a true third party to go ahead and, you know, complete this investigation. He said, you know what, all this time has gone by. The body of Christ is hurting. The survivors are hurting. And he said, you know, we need to just go ahead and, and, and do this. And he also called on other leaders in the body of Christ to, you know, get on board with this as well, as far as, you know, uh, with the advocate group agreeing on a you know a mutual third party that they can both go forward with. Another thing that Brown wanted to clear up, he says, I know there's a lot of talk right now about how this has all just been one big setup by the advocate group to take down Mike Bickle in the International House of Prayer. 
That was something else that we heard from Misty Edwards and, you know, some of these other alleged Jane Doe's that were upset when, you know, they saw their name pop up on that report from the advocate group that they were allegedly survivors of Mike Bickle, but they were not. And this has, again, been the back and forth between Misty Edwards and the advocate group. Uh, Michael Brown is completely dismissing that. He said, that is a myth. That is not the case at all. He says, I know many of these, you know, men and women in the advocate group. You know, they gave their, their hearts, they gave their everything to IHOP KC and to Mike Bickle, and they are deeply hurt by all that has occurred. This was not some, you know, setup for them to go ahead and, you know, take down the organization. He goes, he just, I guess, I just don't believe it at all. He also said this, and this was interesting because this was not made known. He said that about two weeks ago, reportedly, the advocate group and IHOP KC, you know, Fuller and all of them, did in fact agree on a mutual third party to go ahead and do this investigation. But according to Brown, he says that whoever that individual was, he did not name them, apparently had some sort of a sickness in the family, which prevented them from doing the investigation. Now, what I don't know is that if that was the case, okay, well, why not wait until the person is better? Now, unless this was something that, you know, was going to be long-term, but they had to take care of a family member and they just, you know, it wasn't going to be anytime soon. Then I guess I can understand that. Uh, but he did not name who that was. So he said, you know, that was the opportunity. The family sickness thing came up. And then Brown says that the devil came in. And he started shaking things up. Uh, and now we have mudslinging on both sides on social media. And, you know, the lawyer emails are coming out and Eric Valls is taking shots over at uh, the advocate group. Uh, Misty Edwards is uh, all of it. Uh, so he said that was the opportunity and it didn't happen. Now he also claimed, and he actually responded to General Fuller's you know, video. I talked to you guys about how he put out that video on Wednesday, January 24th. It was entitled Enough and to put an exclamation point on it. And you know, Fuller was, was addressing the videos that the advocate group had put out, you know, especially the one where uh, they alleged that Mike Bickle covered up his son Luke Bickle's affair uh, that lasted for multiple years and that Mike Bickle was himself involved with the same woman. So you had, yeah, a Bickle tag team here uh, with the wife of one of the department heads at IHOP KC. Now, according to Brown, he spoke with Fuller on Wednesday, January 24th. Again, right when this video came out and he told Fuller, you need to go ahead and go with the group that the advocate group is asking for with, you know, the investigation the investigation team, whoever they are, again, he did not name them, but apparently they had somebody in mind. Brown said that Fuller refused to go with their selection, whoever it may be. And if you remember in that video, Fuller said that he was not playing around with the advocate group anymore. He called them a bunch of liars and said that he was upset that they didn't even give him a chance and that Fuller now says that they are just going to stick with the Lathrop group on this and see this thing through with them. And then once the investigation is done, they will publish the findings. This is all what, you know, again, Brown tried to talk to him. Fuller wasn't having any of it. He does not want to go with the group that the advocates are selecting. And that is truly sad. So, you know, this was a, a quite a change uh, of, you know, of words here from Brown compared to a couple of months ago. Uh, he also said that uh, he believes that both IHOP KC leaders and the advocate group are doing what they believe is best. Although, I mean, I don't see that at all from the International House of Prayer. They obviously have their own agenda here and they have since the very beginning. They're doing everything they can in their power to protect that organization because they don't want to stop the flow of the money, right? You always gotta look at this at the end of the day, right? It's always about the money. If IHOP KC goes down, there's a lot of people that are there that aren't gonna get paid anymore. I mean, it's just the case. I mean, Bickle, he's, he's set. doesn't matter. I mean, he can be permanently separated from them, but look, he, he's going to be, he's going to be fine. So Brown, again, this is a departure from what he said a few months ago when he was, you know, saying we need to trust IHOP KC and their leaders and Stuart Greaves. And again, again this was before they all were, you know, bounced out of the picture. Uh, and, and then Brown was telling people to not, you know, speak about this on social media. And then, you know, the survivors responded to that saying, okay, you want us to stay quiet? Haven't we stayed quiet long enough? So that was a big mess. So, you know, Brown trying to return here now as, you know, a mediator in all of this. And, you know, I, I just don't know. Um, 
And again, the fact that he was still talking to Fuller, and obviously this guy was still involved, even though he said that he wasn't, you know, after he was separating himself. But obviously he still had a hand in it. Where it goes from here, we will see if there is a response to Michael Brown from the Advocate Group, Eric Valls, all of them. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated as uh, this news continues to pour in. Um, and it most certainly will. Uh, I would love to hear from you as well. You can sound off down below. Um, and if you would like to check out that video of Brown in full, I will have it for you on my Patreon at patreon.com slash notbysightnews. <laughs> it is up there for you now to check out. And of course, uh, if you would like, you can uh, support the ministry also by just clicking the super thanks button on this very YT video here. And that's a great blessing as well. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world, as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.